Hi there, this is Tracy. Welcome to my Easter DIY. I absolutely love the way that these Easter eggs turned out and I can't wait to show you how I did it. I'm using a lot of the supplies from the dollar stores. So I'm going to share exactly what I did for these little cute Easter eggs. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. The tin bucket and the styrofoam is from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm showing you this Excelsior, which I actually use the pink Excelsior that I got from Joann's. I'm also using some glass beads and some Dollar Tree decor, as well as one of those unfinished eggs from Dollar General. Now these are the scrapbook papers that I decided to use. A lot of these I already had in my stash, but you can get those at Hobby Lobby or any other craft store. I am also using this for my ribbon. I love to work with the jewelry Recording. You can get that in the jewelry section of any craft stores. And the ribbon is also from Hobby Lobby. I am using the same technique that I did with my DIY pumpkins I made last fall, as well as the DIY Christmas trees that I made uh, for the Christmas season. Both of those will be linked below in the description box. So to get started on my egg, I had this large one from the Dollar Tree. Now um, I'm taking my two pieces of pink paper, the one 12 by 12 is not large enough for this paper, so that's why I'm taping two of those together. And then I am just going to uh, take a black Sharpie marker, trace that egg, and then cut it out with my scissors. Then I take my Mod Podge and I Mod Podge it onto the back of this egg and, you know, just give it a thin coat and then take my patterned paper and I just smooth that out continue. I like to work in sections like this so that way my Mod Podge does not dry out too quick. I'm also going to use a squeegee and I try to get out the excess of the Mod Podge so that way um, you know I have a smooth surface. Then I just add a thin layer of Mod Podge on top of the egg because that gives it a shiny effect as well as seals it. Now moving on to the second egg, this is the unfinished egg from Dollar General. I'm using some chalk paint uh, in the color pool, P-O-O-L, and I'm just painting the sides as well as the back. So then now what I'm gonna do is take my black Sharpie marker, trace that egg out and cut it out as well. Now on the unfinished side will be the side that I'm going to adhere this uh, paper. So I have my Mod Podge here and I just put a thin layer and then attach this scrapbook paper as well. For the smallest egg, I am using this little uh, decor from the Dollar Tree. I thought I was going to make a sign and that's why I'm just taking all of this off, but I've decided against that. But to get all of that glitter off of there, I just took my little sanding block and I just went to town sanding. I get asked about that sanding block a lot. I got that either at Walmart or Lowe's or something like that. Anyway, but what I'm showing you here is cheesecloth. This is one of my favorite tools in my craft room because I work with a lot of glitter also work with wood and once I'm finished sanding I can sand uh, I can wipe everything off and it just you know removes all of those little dust particles now to uh, for the third egg I just am doing the same technique just taking my black sharpie marker uh, tracing it around on the wrong side of the uh, cardstock and then I just cut that out and then I'm going to attach it to the egg using uh, Mod Podge as well.
Once my eggs were completely dry, I uh, take my black Sharpie marker and I am just doodling around each one of those just to give it a bit of character. This is my personal preference because that's what I like to do for my projects. You can totally skip this if you're going to recreate this project, but I love the way that the little doodling and the shading gives uh, your projects life. And I just like to do that for my projects. I added this thick rickrack to the uh, bigger egg that has that, you know, where the two pieces of paper meet. I think that if you add ribbon, rickrack, that kind of thing, it really kind of camouflages what you're trying to cover up. So I'm just attaching that with some hot glue. I got that rickrack uh, from Hobby Lobby as well. For my tin bucket, I just painted one of the buckets with three coats of the chalk paint. The chalk paint I'm using is the color plaster, uh, and I just gave it three coats of that chalk paint. I let it dry in between so that it would, uh, you know, adhere nicely to my little bucket. Then I took my little sanding tool and I just roughed it up, distressing it a bit with my little sanding tool, then taking my tack cloth again and just wiping it all clean. Uh, to get started on my little styrofoam, I am just taking some Aline's tacky glue as well as some hot glue and I used one of the larger blocks from the Dollar Tree as well as three of the little smaller uh, individual squares from the Dollar Tree. Then uh, to give my bucket some um, um, weight. I'm adding, actually gluing some of the glass beads in the bucket and then I add my pink excelsior on top to cover up that green styrofoam. Now for the fun part. I love this part. Anyway, so I just want to figure out how I'm going to attach these eggs together as well as how I'm going to get it to stand up here in that little bucket. To attach the eggs, uh, the one from the Dollar Tree is a little bit thinner than the one from Dollar General. So I cut off a piece of thick fun foam that I had in my craft room. And then I'm just gonna use that kind of as a buffer or something to lift up that little thin, you know, uh, egg. And then I just attach all of those together. So now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to get this to stand up here in this bucket. I'm using some wooden plant labels that I picked up from the 99 cent store. Now these are perfect because it has little, they remind me of little pickets and it has the little, uh, you know, V at the bottom so that it will stick really nicely into my styrofoam. So I'm just painting two of those pink and then I glue them on the back of the large Easter egg. Now I'm going to make a bow for some finishing touches. I uh, just have some of this burlap ribbon and uh, making five inch loops, I just kind of crisscross that and then I'm gonna hold it uh, using a little stapler. It's a little Tim Holtz tiny attacher and uh, it is one of my favorite crafting tools that I have in my craft room. I do get questioned about that a lot. You can get it at any craft store or anywhere like scrapbooking items are sold or I will have a link in the description below to my Amazon store if you would prefer to have it shipped to you. Anyway, I'm just going to um, now add some of my other layers of ribbon on top. I have some of that burlap window pane ribbon as well as some of this pink and white gingham ribbon and then I cut that off and I use a lighter to singe the edges so that they don't fray. Now I have my jewelry cording and I like to make just a little thin bow just kind of adds a little bit of texture to my bow and then using a Chanel stem I twist all of that together and then I'm going to use my needle nose pliers to um, you know give it a really really tight hold and then to get that to attach 
to my little eggs. I'm just using a U-shaped pin. You can get those in the floral section of the craft store. And uh, I just attach the bow using several of those U-pins into the styrofoam. I decided to add some of these styrofoam eggs that uh, you can get from the Dollar Tree. I purchased this particular pack at the 99 cent store, so that's what I'm doing with them. And I'm just kind of taking different colors and using some toothpicks. Um, I have so much stuff in my craft room, but anyway, I'm glad that I could use some of this stuff that I have all of the time. Anyway, I just, you know, they're both styrofoam, so I just poke them into the egg and then, you know, secure them into the styrofoam. Okay guys, here are my 2019 Easter eggs. I just love the way that they turned out and I hope that you do too. I hope that you find them uh, inspiring to create some for yourself. If you do, make sure and share with us over in my Country Charm community. I will have a link in the description below. Tag me on Instagram. I would appreciate if you would follow me there. If uh, you don't mind, share the video, maybe pin it on Pinterest. And thank you so much for your comments, for your thumbs up, for all of your support. We will see you next time. God bless.